Well, we're a week away from Morbius. If you're new to the channel, please give us a subscribe and don't forget to smash that like button. This is going to be a good time. We're talking the movie of all movies, Morbius. You ever see Lost Boys? Story of my life. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us for this short period of time as we talk Morbius post credit and credit scenes. Oy. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about Morbius on Casual Friday later today, so check that out. But for now, let's talk about these leaked, supposed leaked post credit scenes for Morbius. As we all know by now, all the stuff you were looking forward to from the trailers is not in the movie. It's not there. And in fact, not only is it not there, but some of it has been moved to the end credit credit after the credits roll the post credit we're gonna get vulture now in prison and this is we gotta look at this so i mean take this with a grain of salt i suppose i don't think it's been confirmed but it's all over uh the twitterverse right now this is everywhere all right so i don't have a direct uh source for this this is just everybody's been posting this um the first th this is what they're saying the first starts with purple space time rifts at the end of no way home as everyone gets pulled out of the mcu to other universes adrian tombs gets pulled out from the MCU or whatever universe Morbius is set in, he appears in a prison because, you know, that's he gets invested. I guess that's investigated on because he just appeared in a cell like that. They release him because he didn't do anything in this universe. And that's the first one. The second post credit scene says the second one starts with Morbius driving a car, then Vulture flies. Yes, he has the suit to him saying he wants revenge on Spider-Man. Morbius accepts setting up the Sinister Six. While still strange, these make more sense than Morbius randomly going to prison to meet Vulture. I, I don't, okay, I can't, I mean, I guess I can't comment on the randomly going to prison because in the trailer, it does look like he gets arrested. Like it looks like Tyrese is all over throughout the entire movie. But anyway, but the, the, I, there's a lot of questions to be had with, um, because I don't think that's how the Doctor Strange spell from No Way Home worked at all. And if it did, he would, he would end up in the same prison he was in at the end of Homecoming. Um, also, you know, if Spider-Man's not in this movie or in the Venom or in the in the Morbius universe, which of course they want this Morbius universe to be its own universe separate from everything, and the rumor is that they want Madame Web to kind of be the conduit of of the Spider Sony Spider Verse, which is fine, whatever. But if that's the case, then Spider-Man doesn't exist. So then, why would Morbius want to help get revenge? on Spider-Man. He would have no idea what a Spider-Man is. How would he even know to go to Mor Morbius? That's strange. And if this movie, if Morbius is supposed to be like an anti-hero, then why would he want to be a villain and go against Spider-Man in a Sinister Six? There's a lot of strange questions. I mean, the, the biggest one of all, like, I mean, if you appear in a prison in another universe, does that, like, does the vulture exist in that universe? Is that how he got the suit? Did he meet his same universe? Is there two tombs running around? Like, how did he get the vulture costume? So again, I would take these all with a giant grain of salt. I can't see how any of this is legit. Uh, I mean, I've heard other other reports that, that it's actually tombs in prison, the vulture's in prison, and he gets a picture, and in that picture, it's like a picture of Craven the Hunter, and he, and he actually mentions to Morbius how he's putting together a team. Um, just flying out of nowhere to do this, it just makes no sense. We're going to find out in a week. I am seeing it in one week. I'll do a straight out of theater reaction for you, and then we'll do a review of it probably the next day. There's no, I don't think there's going to be an imminent rush for anyone to care about Morbius because the reviews are in, and like I said, we'll be talking about them on Casual Friday later today. Um, but this is, um, well, this is new. This is definitely, definitely news. So what do you guys think? What do you guys make of this, these post credit scenes? For me, it just, it seems like Sony is trying very hard. And I think they saw, because this movie was delayed so much, they saw an opportunity to use the multiverse to their advantage. And instead, I think it's to a disadvantage. I think they tried too hard. It sounded like they tried too hard. If these reports are accurate. But again, we won't know for another week or until some official, official, official news comes out that they are. But I, you know, why would they leak anyway? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below once again thank you so much for joining us give us a like and a subscribe and until next time may you be the master of your own universe